startup procedure for the Crystal Mountain Storm bottom load water cooler. After removing the cooler from the outer box, make sure that you remove all the protective film and packaging. At this time, make sure that the cooler stays unplugged. We want to check and make sure that the hot tank is turned off. To access that switch, we're going to slide the bottle door up and the switch is located next to the yellow decal. The O on the switch is for off. If when you look at the switch that you see red exposed, that means that it's on. So we want to make sure that we depress the O side of the switch. No red is exposed. Now what we want to do is prepare the system to have the bottle of water put into it. Uh, normally you'd want to wear sanitary gloves, but if we don't have those, uh, just be careful not to touch anything that's going to be inserted down into the bottle of water itself. If you want to take a couple paper towels, wipe the top of the bottle off, make sure it's good and clean. Then we're going to go ahead and peel off the cap of the bottle itself and you're going to discard. We're going to reach in up underneath the cooler and pull out the bottle adapter. Again, we want to make sure that we don't touch the tube that's going to be inserted into the bottle water itself, so I'm going to tear open the bag, pull the bottle adapter out by the top, and what I want to do is take the memory out of this hose, because uh, when it's in storage, in the bag, it has a little memory built to it. So we're going to bend it over backwards so that when I insert it into the bottle, it's going to hang down straight. So I'm going to snap that on the top of the bottle itself. We'll take the bottle tube, and there's a little protective cap in here that we're going to remove and discard. I'm going to insert that onto the elbow. Then we're going to roll the bottle up into the bottom of the cooler. We want to take up the excess slack of the tube itself by wrapping it around the neck of the bottle. We want to make sure that it's not going to be pinched by the door when we close it. And at this point in time, we want to go ahead and close the bottle door. Now that we have the bottle loaded into the system and we've made sure that the hot tank is turned off, we're going to plug in the unit and then we're going to prime it with water. So let me plug in the unit. Okay. Now the priming of this, you've got to prime the hot and the cold separately, and it can take up to a minute on each side. So I'm going to place a glass underneath the dispenser, and I'm going to hold down on the cold. I'm going to do the cold first. This could take a little bit. The pump's going to be a little noisier at first until it gets the water up into it. And we're going to look for a steady stream of water out of this. And then we know we've got the cold primed. There we go. It looks good on the cold. Now we're going to repeat the process on the hot side. So I'm going to depress the hot safety switch, push the hot dispenser down. Sorry my hands are in the way, but I didn't want to walk in front of the camera. All right, now we have a good stream, and that's how you prime the system. Now that we have both the hot and cold water primed, we're going to turn on the hot tank. To do that, we're going to lift the bottle door up. We're going to locate the hot tank switch, which is right next to the yellow decal. Right now it's turned off. What I'm going to do is flip it on to where the red is exposed. After about 15 to 20 minutes, you're going to have completely hot water. Uh, what I'm going to do is go ahead and shut the door, and that completes the startup procedure of the water cooler. 
Now we're going to de demonstrate how to change the bottle after you have emptied it. Uh, what you want to do is slide open the bottle uh, access door. And again, if you don't have uh, rubber gloves, get a couple of clean paper towels. You want to make sure that you clean off the top of the uh, new bottle. You're going to peel your cap off. Let me get a hold of that. And you're discard it. Set it here close by. You're going to slide the empty bottle out. And again, you want to make sure that you don't touch the tube that goes down into the bottle with your hands. You want to keep everything as sanitary as possible. So I'm going to slide that up out of there, off the empty. I'm going to come over, stick it down in the full bottle, make sure that it goes down into the water, snap the cap on. Then I'm going to take the bottle, roll it up into the bottom of the cooler. Make sure that I have the bottle tube out of the way. I kind of wrap it around the neck of the bottle so it doesn't get caught on the access door. And then I'm going to go ahead and close the door and you're ready to go.